In today's video, we're going to be talking about the spot price of silver beginning to climb and how it's a little bit different than the way that it climbed last year. We're also going to be talking about a quick little overview of AT&T's latest deal along with some of the good news and bad news that's coming along with it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver climbing all the way up to the $28 an ounce range. And we're also going to be talking about AT&T, a dividend favorite, cutting its dividend. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Tuesday, May 18th, 2021. It is currently 81 degrees outside. Look how nice and sunny it is. Why be inside when you can be outside? Filming another video out here. Today, I wanted to talk about silver. I also want to talk a little bit about gold. I also want to talk a little bit about AT&T. Now, really quick, the spot price of silver, as I'm recording the video, is $28.13. Now, I know silver climbed yesterday, but I had a video that I posted yesterday that I pre-recorded on Sunday, so I didn't get to talk about it right away. And gold, as I'm recording the video, is $1,866.50. And the gold to silver ratio currently is between 65 and 66 to 1. Which I just wanted to point out once again. I think I said it in a video that I posted maybe two or three days ago. A few weeks back, I was talking about how the gold to silver ratio was about 1 to 69. Then, shortly after, it was 68 to 69. Then it was 67 to 68. Then it was 66 to 67. Now it's 65 to 66. So it would appear that the gold to silver ratio is tightening up a little bit. That's how it looks. But I also wanted to talk about AT&T really quick. Now I'm going to go through this as quickly as possible. This is not going to be a full in-depth analysis. This is not going to go through every single detail. This is just something that I wanted to talk about today because I thought it was pretty interesting and I thought it could be a little bit impactful. So for those of you who do not pay attention to the stock market, today has been a little bit of a weird day. Half the stocks are up, half the stocks are down. It's, it's one of those days. And a lot of stocks were having a very good day. AT&T, unfortunately, was not having a very good day. It opened up today, Tuesday morning, dropped down over 5% today upon the news that came out regarding their next big move. AT&T is actually going to be spinning off Warner Media. For those of you who do not know, AT&T was the parent company. So that Warner Media can merge with Discovery. So it looks like they're going to be parting ways with some of their media assets to focus a little bit more of their attention on 5G and internet telecommunications and whatnot. This deal is actually going to be providing AT&T with $43 billion, which will pay down their debt. For those of you who pay attention to AT&T, maybe you're an investor in AT&T or you just like to pay attention to certain companies and like to see what they have going on. AT&T has been a very strong company for a very long time, but it's really no secret that they have been, how can I say, mildly over leveraged to say the least for quite a bit of time. So taking $43 billion worth of cash and assets to help pay down that debt is good news for AT&T. That is good news for them. And that's good news for growth being that they're going to be focusing on what works much more than they've been. So paying down debt, strengthening what works, letting go of what doesn't is good news, right? Well, it's not all good. As part of this deal, it looks like AT&T is actually going to be cutting their dividend. That's right, AT&T, a dividend investor's favorite. Everybody loves AT&T for that really attractive dividend. However, it would appear that AT&T is going to be cutting that dividend 
nearly in half. Now I can't find any specific numbers. I haven't been able to find any articles that are sharing what their actual dividend is going to be once it's officially cut, but it's currently sitting at $2.08 per share per year. And due to the fact that everywhere is stating that they're cutting their dividend nearly in half, I would just go ahead and assume that it's probably gonna be somewhere between a dollar ten and a dollar twenty-five per share per year. Now, of course, when it comes to dividend investing, nobody likes to hear that the dividend is going to get cut, so some people might actually be feeling like this is the beginning of the end. I, however, don't really view it that way. I kind of see it as the beginning of AT&T's second wind. And the reason I say that is because something very similar happened to Disney last year. That's right, Disney cut their dividend at the very beginning of all of last year, lockdowns in 2020 they cut their dividend all together they didn't pay a dividend at all ever since and ever since they eliminated that dividend all together they've been focusing a majority of their attention on building up Disney Plus which for those of you who do not know is basically Disney's version of Netflix in a way if that makes sense it's a paid subscription service and that has been killing it for the last year, Disney Plus has been taking over the world, it seems. And Disney, what a lot of people viewed as a dividend stock, a blue chip corporation dividend stock, turned into massive, massive, massive growth. So I'm hoping that this deal and everything going on with AT&T is going to be relatively similar to what we saw take place with Disney. Now, I know Disney and AT&T are vastly different from each other. Very, very different companies with very, very different fundamentals, different projects, different plans, different priorities, different everything. But I have high hopes. Enough about stocks, enough about AT&T. Let's talk about silver. That's right. The spot price of silver, as I said earlier in the video, is currently sitting at $28.13. By the way, if you can head on down to the comments and let me know what the current spot price is for you, I'd really appreciate it because the numbers I'm providing, that's as I'm filming the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching it. So let me know. I'm always curious. But that's right. Silver has creeped its way back into the $28 range. I've been saying for quite a bit of time now that I don't think silver is going to move too far away from where it's been sitting. And where it's been sitting has pretty much been in the $26, $27 range. I've been saying for a little while now, it would not surprise me if it went up to $28, $29. It wouldn't surprise me if it dropped down to $25, $24. I don't think it's going to be moving too far away from where it's currently sitting right now. But for the first time in a little bit of time, it climbed back up to the $28 range. It was actually a pleasant surprise for a lot of people. I don't think a lot of people expected it to jump up to the $28 mark. Now, what's funny about it climbing to $28 this week is how different things are right now in comparison to last year when silver first climbed to the $28 range in several, several years. $28 an ounce. That's the spot price, by the way. I'm not talking about the stack price. Stack price is spot plus about five, just to be clear. I'm talking about spot price, not the out the door price tag that people like you, people like me, people like him, people like her have to convert our dollars into. I'm talking about the spot price. But last year, in 2020, almost a year ago, now that I think about it, I think it was June of 2020, if I'm not mistaken, when silver really started to climb. See, originally we saw silver sitting at about $18 an ounce, get smacked down to about $12 an ounce, and then it started working its way back up. It went to 13, 14, 15, 16, back to 17, 18, and then when it hit that $18 mark, right where it was before it fell down in the first place, it just kept on climbing. It went to $19, then it went to $20, which completely blew my mind. I did not expect to see that happen. I thought it was going to be at least another couple of years before we saw silver go into the $20 range. And guess what? It didn't stop there either. It went from 21 23 25 27 $29 an ounce last year in a very short window of time when there was all of this hype, all of this excitement, all of this craziness going on surrounding silver, really surrounding precious metals in general. 
but especially on silver because silver was just going absolutely ballistic at the time. This time around, it's had a much slower, more steady growth. So moving forward, I don't know how confident I am that we're going to be seeing many massive dips, any massive drops. Now we can, and hopefully we do, because I'm definitely still in acquisition mode. I'm still trying to get as much physical silver content in my possession as humanly possible. So the lower the spot price, and also for the record, the lower the stack price, the better it is for me. I would prefer, if I could have it my way, silver would be back down to $13, $14 again. The premiums would only be two, three dollars over spot. I'd be happy with that. I'd be happy with that for the next 10 years. I'm still in acquisition mode. So the lower the better. But it seems as though it's been on a very slow, steady, and healthy rise this year so far. And we're almost halfway through the year already, if you think about it. I can't believe it's almost June. But it seems as though silver is moving its way up. Will it keep up this momentum? Or will it drop back down? A dollar or so later this week I couldn't tell you but it's interesting to pay attention to it's interesting to look at it's interesting to watch I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic if you are familiar with AT&T if you're an investor in AT&T if you're interested in AT&T I would like to know what you think about everything that I shared in today's video and assuming that you went and did a little bit of research on your own probably got a whole lot more information doing that than just listening to my video. I just wanted to do a quick little overview. But head on down to the comments and let me know your thoughts on that right there. Do you think the dividend cut is a deal breaker? Do you think we're going to see some pretty strong, healthy growth when it comes to AT&T? Or you think this is the beginning of the end? And then as for silver, and even when it comes to gold as well, what do you think of the spot price moving in an upward direction? We're seeing silver in the green we're seeing gold in the green we're seeing green across the board when it comes to the precious metals and if anybody's interested in joining the precious metals vip club it's where i can do things on my own terms not on youtube's terms my terms i'm hosting privately held live streams they're smaller and easier to manage i'm posting exclusive vip only adventure vlogs i also do giveaways discounts personalized promo codes shout outs deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites and of course you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free come join the precious metals vip club it'll be the first link in the description you're invited i'd be happy to have you and if you guys enjoyed today's video please hit that like button if you guys like me make sure to hit that subscribe button like a karen hits a bus window also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. A bunch of brand new videos over there. One about ordering silver and gold online. One about teaching your kids about silver and gold. One about the tech stock sell-off we've been seeing. One about recovery stocks. One about the credit card crackdown. And a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. And of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again 
everything shared in today's video, regardless of if it's about AT&T or whether it's about silver, I want you guys to head on down and let me know what are your thoughts. First of all, when it comes to AT&T, what do you think of this new deal? $43 billion to pay down debt. It's no secret that AT&T has been pretty over leveraged to say the least. So for them to actually be taking necessary steps and parting ways with some of their media assets to pay down that debt and focus more of their attention on what's really, really working for them. And then of course, when it comes to silver, with the spot price being $28 an ounce right now, spot price, not stack price, but still, what are your thoughts regarding silver continuing to climb? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.